In today's video, we're going to be looking at Cybo and hair loss. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the HairGuard.com YouTube channel. Don't forget to take the HairGuard hair loss quiz for free, personalized expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair by clicking the link in the description. So let's get straight into it. What is SIBO? SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. As the name suggests, it is a medical condition characterized by an excessive population of bacteria in the small intestine. The normal density of bacteria in the small intestine is about 1,000 per millimeter, whereas in SIBO, it can be as high as 1 million and even 10 million per milliliter. In addition to a dramatically higher number of bacteria, the type of bacteria also changes. There is a shift in the population from friendly bacteria that are necessary for gut health to species that produce toxins and disrupt the intestinal environment. Because SIBO is a slow developing chronic condition that often goes undiagnosed, it is very difficult to give a precise estimate of its frequency in the general population. The figure could be 5% or lower for younger people and as high as 15% for the elderly. There are numerous risk factors for its development, including things like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, and heavy use of antibiotic medications. Now, the symptoms of SIBO are specific to SIBO. So, as I mentioned, it can be very difficult to diagnose. People with SIBO might have chronic bloating, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. They might also be weak and fatigued. Other symptoms can include things like weight loss and osteoporosis, as well as a number of nutritional deficiencies. Patients might become deficient in vitamins A, B12, D, E, and K, as well as iron and other nutrients. Treatment for SIBO can be dietary, surgical, or medical, so your doctor might suggest steps towards a more healthy and balanced diet. Or if the SIBO stems from a problem with the small intestine's anatomy, he might recommend surgery. But most doctors will simply prescribe antibiotics. These will work to temporarily reduce the bacterial population, but the problem is that the effect will be short-lived. The average length of symptom improvement that you will get after a one-week antibiotic course is as little as over three weeks. This means that you would need approximately one course per month to sustain results. So now that we have given you a brief overview of SIBO, let's move on to its possible link with hair loss. Now guys, I just want to get this clear right off the bat. There is no direct scientific evidence linking SIBO to male or female pattern baldness or any other types of hair loss. So there are no medical studies that have looked at the hair of people with SIBO and found them to have a higher incidence of hair loss than the general population. But this does not necessarily mean that there is no link. A very large percentage, probably even the majority of SIBO sufferers, will not actually be diagnosed in their lifetime. So they, along with their treating healthcare professionals, will not even know that they have the disease, let alone blame it for any hair problems that they might be experiencing. Now, due to this underappreciation of the scale of the SIBO problem, Medical researchers might simply not have had the motivation to examine its link to hair loss or other problems. So guys, with that out of the way, let's speculate on the two untested but quite plausible ways in which SIBO can impact your hair. Now, one is through nutrition and the other is through stress. So let's first look at nutrition. Your hair follicles need nutrients, just like any other organ in your body. But hair follicles are not like any other organ. Hair follicles have a high turnover and a very high active metabolism meaning that they are especially dependent on an adequate supply of proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Crucial among these are vitamin C, B12, zinc, niacin, iron, copper, and selenium. Now guys, depending on the nature of the deficiency, your hair can obviously start falling out and thinning, but it can also develop other changes. It may become fragile, hypopigmented, dull, or gray, and this diameter might shrink. SIBO can cause all sorts of nutritional deficiencies, but it will primarily cause deficiencies in fat soluble vitamins as well as vitamin B12, which you actually need for healthy hair. The excess bacteria in the intestine interfere with the bile salts that are stored in the gallbladder and are used by our body to break down fats. So a person with SIBO will not be able to absorb the fat soluble vitamins efficiently and over time will become severely deficient in them. Now guys, now we'll look at stress. SIBO is a chronic condition that if left unchecked will wreak havoc on your life. Imagine the stress of experiencing chronic low energy levels and fatigue, 
you know, struggling to get things done and always feeling like you're falling behind. In addition to the psychological stress, there is also the physiological stress that a chronic condition like SIBO can place on your body's internal homeostatic mechanisms. And precisely because there is a widespread appreciation on the part of doctors on how stress can be linked to hair loss, there is actually substantial body of research on its relationship with hair loss, particularly the acute type of hair loss known as alopecia areata. And guys, we are talking about research going back all the way to the 1950s and some even earlier than that. So guys, stress, nutrient deficiency, low energy, bloating. Guys, if you have been diagnosed or suspect that you might suffer from SIBO, this is a problem that needs to be addressed. Even if we could be absolutely certain that SIBO has no impact on your hair whatsoever, you do not want to be living with a condition that will dramatically lower the quality of your life and see you taking antibiotic medications for months or years on end. That's all I have for you today, guys. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with SIBO, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. And also, guys, if you're worried about your hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description to take the Hair God Hair Loss Quiz, where you'll receive free expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.